Amendment Bill Number Two, the third reading. The final result is the ayes are 104 and the noes are 12. I call. I, you're very close to you. I call Maureen Pugh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, my pleasure to stand today in support of the anti-money laundering and countering financing of terrorism amendment bill in its third and final reading this afternoon. Um, as we've heard, this uh, bill has been considered by a very cooperative select committee, the Law and Order Select Committee. The current act that is under operation is fa phase one of the tranche of um, changes that have been made, and they were brought into those organisations that were probably of higher risk of being used by criminals to launder their money. They were the banks, casinos, and a range of other financial service providers. Um, and it was the first step in us uh, closing the gaps that had the potential to provide ways for criminals to launder their money. This bill is a further step, and it's helping us protect our businesses, as well as ensuring that New Zealand's reputation remains of a very high standard and is respected, and we are continuing to be known as a safe country in which to do business. This bill, um, phase two, extends the regime to lawyers, conveyances, accountants, uh, to real estate agents, to racing and sports betting, and businesses that deal in high-value goods, such as uh, jewellery, precious stones, uh, cars, artworks, etc. So these are the organisations that still have potential in terms of being used by criminals to launder their dirty money. And the committee wanted to give these organisations time to implement their systems and um, train their staff and have them in place in time to meet uh, time frames. So those time frames have been staggered, and that gives these organisations um, a variety of time, but also gives uh, the staff um, within um, the Ministry of Justice to work with these organisations to implement their, um, their systems. So the lawyers and conveyances implementation date is the 1st of July in 2018, accountants by the 1st of October. 2018, and real estate agents by the 1st of January 2019. And as we've heard from my colleague across the House, the New Zealand Racing Board is the last of those organisations uh, to be required to meet their implementation date, and that has been said at the 1st of August 2019. And the rationale behind that was that the racing clubs across the country are quite small, um, and they do have some challenges in um, setting up these systems, and so um, their time was extended out to help them um, uh, to comply. So it wasn't, uh, also the timing was important to the select committee because in 2019 the Financial Action Task Force will be doing their review of New Zealand and we know that this will have a direct effect on our international trade reputation. So it was important to the committee that we were able to meet those international obligations and so that's why um, you know, this uh, bill is being um, uh, staggered and the implementation dates uh, fit with that review. Mr Speaker, the act of laundering money is the way that criminals do clean their illegally gotten gains, and that is usually through the sale of illegal activities like selling drugs or stolen property. And uh, this bill will make it so much more difficult for those criminals to clean their dirty money. And that also includes in, in people from international uh, who may have been looking to New Zealand as a place to launder their money. So it protects our honest business owners and operators, and it does tighten up the systems that uh, criminals may have uh, seen as an easy easy ride for them in laundering their dirty money here in New Zealand. Uh, it is much more challenging for them now, and this bill protects New Zealand's integrity, and I commend it to the House. Mr. Speaker. Uh, or Pito Williams-Shield. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> 